2008 election turned a new page when it comes to politicians communicating with voters. Well, pretty soon it could be commonplace that you don't just get text messages from your friends and family, but also from your elected officials. All new here at 6, KXA and political reporter Jenny Hoff tells us the newest technology creating more transparency in government. Long gone are the days when the only way you could talk to your representative would be by going to an expensive fundraiser or going to the Capitol. Technology is making communication a whole lot easier. In fact, pretty soon, you could be talking to your representative even while walking down the street. Whether it's walking down the street, waiting to cross the street, or hanging out with friends, you'll find people doing it everywhere. Probably 20 text messages a day. Not that much. Not as much as the teenagers. No, I'd say a good 85% of the time is what I spend text messaging. Text messaging is the most popular form of communication and politicians are starting to key into it. 95% of all text messages are open and read as opposed to 15% of all emails. A lot of them get filtered through, through spam filters, or people just don't have time to read them anymore. And that's why Ankur Gopal designed a service called Agent 511. This is an example of what we just came back. It allows politicians to text message their constituents for input on big decisions. He asked them, uh, how do you feel about, uh, I'm voting on the bill, funding bill for Iraq next, next month, how do you feel about it? And if 9,000 people send him a text message back, he can kind of get his finger on the pulse of his constituency. All you have to do to be part of the process is sign up on the lawmaker's website. But in a world where you are constantly inundated with other messages, is it worth sacrificing the sanctity of the text message? Nobody wants to hear from their politician on text messaging. I don't think. But others say it's the way of the future, a government that's more transparent and a public that's more involved. I think there's a more uh, a feel that, you know, you've been heard somehow, even though you're not specifically talking to the person on the other end. And this text messaging system wouldn't just be relegated to politicians. It could be used for Amber Alert, city emergencies, any situation where instant communication is needed. Reporting from downtown Austin, Jenny Hoff, KXA and Austin News.